Well, you probably never knew that there's more than one way to hold your badminton grip. Well, let me ask you, how many ways to hold your Today, I'm going to be showing you the five most essential grips you need to mastering your badminton game. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and watch the end of the video. The first grip you're going to be learning is going to be the neutral grip or also called the forehand grip. Now, many of you starting off, if you've never taken lessons, you might be holding your racket wrong. You might be holding it like this on the side with the bevel grip. But the proper neutral grip is going to be coming in vertically on a handshake. And this is going to be used for hitting all of your forehand shots, whether that be your clears, your drives, your lifts, or your overheads. Now, how do you generate power when using this grip? Well, you see, when we come into here, there's going to be a V in this position. And our forefinger is going to be on this side of the racket. How we generate power is we let our racket loosen onto our forefinger while still gripping on with every finger and using mainly our forefinger and the rest of our fingers to grip our racket forward. So you'll feel the power generating from your forefinger downwards to your lower fingers, gripping your racket, and there'll be a pronating motion, and that's how you hit your shots for the forehand neutral grip. The second grip you'll be needing is the backhand grip. Now, how you do this is still going to be starting from our neutral position. Now, in our first grip, our forehand grip, most of our power was generated with our forefinger on this side of the racket. For the backhand grip, we want to be using our thumb, slightly rotating the racket. So our thumb is placed on the flat part of the racket. And this is gonna help us hit our backhand drives, our backhand lifts, our backhand clears, and our backhand kills. Now, when you're generating power for the backhand, what you want to be doing is reverse from the forehand, releasing your racket so that it's holding on. You can do it with just two fingers, mainly on your thumb, and then slightly holding on with the rest of your fingers. And then when you're generating power, you'll be gripping it, pushing your thumb forward, and you're pulling your fingers in to be generating that power very concisely. Our third grip is going to be the bevel grip used in many of our overhead backhand shots and late backhand recovery shots. Now how you do this grip is earlier we talked about the backhand grip where we placed our thumb on the flat part. Now in between the flat part and the vertical part, we're gonna place it right in between there 45 degrees and this is going to be our bevel grip. Now why we want to use this grip for backhands is if we were to only place our thumb on the grip for backhands, you'll see if I swing late, my racket face would be facing outwards and the shot would be going out of the court. That's why here, we want to slightly rotate our grip into the bevel grip so our racket face can still be facing forward when we hit our shots on our late recovery shots. Do you want private coaches, custom training plans, and results in your badminton journey? Well, join our free online badminton academy, link down below. The fourth grip that we'll be needing is going to be your panhandle grip. Now online, many people may define this grip differently. How I define the panhandle is going to be starting from our neutral position. Earlier, this was the thumb, for in between was the bevel, and our panhandle is going to be directly on the vertical. Now when do we use the panhandle grip? This is in more specific scenarios, mostly hitting a reverse slice forehand shots. If you don't know what a reverse slice is, usually it's in our drops or smashes. When we hit straight, we hit outwards like this. It can be either on our forehand side, it can be either on our overhead side, hitting that reverse slice drop shot or reverse slice smash. And we can also use a panhandle grip to come up when we're going for a neck kill, to come up like this, so that our racket face can still face inwards while using the panhandle grip. Now when we're using our panhandle grip, we can't focus on just the thumb or just the forefinger on generating power because they're both neutral in the middle. We gotta use both with our three fingers here to grip the racket so that it goes straight. And we can hit our reverse slice, our reverse slice, and also a forehand neck kill on the backhand side.
Our last grip we'll be needing is going to be our front and rear grips. Now this is very important. There's actually three, our front, our middle, and our rear. And you have to adjust all three depending on the circumstances. Now, if you're playing more doubles and playing more in the front side, you want to be holding near the top of our racket. Because if you hold near the top of the racket, the racket becomes shorter and much lighter so that you can hit fast, continuous shots. Now, if you're just playing neutral shots around the court, you can start holding your racket in the middle to have that balance of speed and power while you're hitting. And of course, if you're in the back and you're starting to attack, we want to shift our hand to the rear of the court. Now for the rear, some of you might be holding too far in or not far back enough. A good standard of what the back of the racket is is that your pinky will be hanging off the back end of the racket right over here so that you still have room to grip. And of course, in the back, when you want to generate power in your smashes, this is where you're going to be holding in the racket. Now, especially for men, one problem men make is that they don't hold their racket far enough. And men have a lot more power than women. Women need to do it too, actually, because if you're not doing this, you're losing out on so much power generated in the back of your court. Those are the five essential badminton grips you need to master in your badminton game. If you want to see more tutorials like this, then make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to show your support. And we'll see you next time.